Hello, my name is Mark Shepard Mueller and I'm at the NAB Show 2017 in beautiful Las Vegas and I'll be telling you a little bit about the SXTW camera. This is our latest model SXT camera and the W stands for wireless because we have some cool wireless features integrated into this camera. First of all, there is a wireless video transmitter that sits here at the back of the camera and we also have a wireless Wi-Fi integrated into the camera. And then third, we have our own proprietary camera and lens control system, the Arri Electronic Control System. So there are three radios in this camera now, and the cool thing is that they all get along. They all don't interfere with each other. So when you rent this camera, you can make sure that your Wi-Fi and your wireless video and your lens control don't interfere with each other. Now, let's talk a little bit about the wireless video. This is a high-performance wireless video transmission system that goes 600 meters, that's about 2,000 feet, it is zero delay, it's encrypted, it's uncompressed, and really, really a stunning image quality. It's a 10-bit signal, so you can actually transmit HDR over it. If it was 8-bit, HDR would be a little iffy, but it's 10-bit, we're all okay. Now, this is part of the SXTW camera, and this is the camera that will replace the SXT Plus and the SXT Studio camera. So from now on, we'll only have the SXTW camera in the lineup together with the SXT EV, which doesn't have any wireless. Now, not only is this a camera with a built-in transmitter, but we have a whole wireless video system. So here we have our own wireless video receiver. This can receive the signal from the standalone transmitter and or from the camera. We have our own standalone transmitter, the wireless video transmitter one, that you can attach to any camera, and you could just Velcro this thing to the camera, or you could use our so-called battery adapter cage this attaches the back of the camera, then our transmitter goes inside, and then you can put a battery on the back. Now we work together with Transvideo, and they've come up with a monitor. This is the Starlight Airy WVS. This has a receiver in that can receive the signal from the Airy transmitter, and it's a perfect fit for our WCU4 remote control unit because it's small and lightweight. For those who require a bigger monitor, we have this dealie here. This is called the Director's Monitor Set. It's essentially an iris rod with handles and mounting brackets for monitors as well as the wireless video receivers. We have extra power outputs on the receiver and on the battery bracket so I can power the monitor and the receiver from one battery. In fact, if I just get a longer iris rod, I can power from one battery, two receivers and two monitors. It's a very flexible system. Our system now has some specialties about it. We are using all aluminum housings. They're very robust. They're spray proof, they're dust proof. We have a very high input voltage range. It's 10.5 to 34 volts and a high temperature range, minus 20 to plus 45 degrees Celsius. But this system will withstand anything. You can drive a tank over it. It'll still work. It's professionally built, airy quality. In addition, the user interface is very simple. For instance, for pairing, there's one button, you push the one button, you pair the transmitter with the receiver. End of story, it's very simple. And it has the same user interface on all the units here. With this new system that should be available in the third quarter of 2017, we also have new software for the Alexa. The new software, of course, supports the wireless features. It also has improved high dynamic range monitoring features. So for instance, we now have 3D lookup tables for PQ, that's 70, 20, 84 and for the hybrid log gamma curve. We have better false color for high dynamic range, we have high dynamic range in the metadata now, and we actually had to reduce the brightness of the status overlay, the status information you see around the image, because that was just too nuclear and too bright. And so that actually dims itself now, different dimming levels if you go to hybrid log gamma versus PQ. In addition, we support some more features of the WCU4, and we support 256 gigabyte SBIOS Pro Plus cards and 512 gigabytes CFast 2.0 cards. That's it for the SXTW. This is a fun show. It's been a big success. People seem to love all the new stuff. And I'll see you next year. Thank you very much.